Arguments are being made everywhere, every day, by politicians and lawyers, in churches and schools, by parents and children, and the list could go on. These arguments are usually made using words, but other visual languages or symbols can be used too. Today, let's talk about how a writer can use words and syntax to make an argument. I want us to look at poetry since verse emphasizes rhythm and figurative language to express ideas. And let's look at how a poem uses language and poetic forms to make logical, ethical, and emotional appeals in an argument. Let's look specifically at Robert Frost's argument about whether life is determined already, and if so, why in things so small and yet deceptive as flowers and spiders. In his poem, Design, Frost probes the darker side of design to question the claim that life's purpose is for good. Let's read the poem first and then talk about it as an argument, noticing its use of language, syntax, and other poetic conventions. Design. I found a dimpled spider, fat and white, on a white heel all, holding up a moth, like a white piece of rigid satin cloth, assorted characters of death and blight, mixed ready to begin the morning rite, like the ingredients of a witch's broth, and a snow, snowdrop spider, a flower like a froth and dead wings carried like a paper kite. What had that flower to do with being white? The wayside blue and innocent hill all. What brought the kindred spider to that height? Then steered the white moth thither in the night. What but design of darkness to appall? If design govern in a thing so small.